This is the main hose from a Shark AX950. This AX950, to be precise. And it has a bit of an issue. What is that issue? Well, as this post-it note tells me, it has a broken switch. This is the on-off switch, and it is not clicking on as it should. So you turn it on, and then you let it go, and the machine turns off, and today, we're going to try and fix that. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, one broken shark accessory what a surprise never fear because i think it's quite a simple fix i'm just setting up all my tools for which you will need a t20 and a t10 torx bit to get this handle apart bless it and you need to start with the t20 and take out this back screw here once this back screw comes out we can come to the top, oh, back into shot, there we go, and pop out a little cover, there we go, a little suction vent cover, because that, that's partly what holds these two bits together. There is a little bit of poking and prying, we need to just pull the clips apart on this back piece, there we go, and then we can hopefully lift up the front, being a little bit careful to not damage any of the clips because that would defeat the whole point of doing this. There we go. Lift up the little tab on the back from there. There's gonna be another one up here somewhere. And just all the way down. On both sides. Oh, ah. And it should unclip from the front. And then we can get these off. So this is the internals of the whole thing. This is the switch and the suction vent that all moves together. I would leave that well alone. This is what we want. And as you can see, look, doesn't do anything. So we need to change our switch. Now the switch that we're going to be using to replace it is coming out of my box of random Dyson DC07, 4, 14, 33, a push, etc. My box of random Dyson stuff. And we're going to select, we've got a black switch in it now, so we'll put a black switch in it this time. There we go, it closes up. Of course you don't have a box of random Dyson rubbish. You have to buy yourself a switch which could cost you two or three pounds anywhere as much as that you simply pull it out and look we have ourselves an identical switch in every single way we're going to cut the wires nice and close oh come on ah yeah, one falls out, the other one come. Come on, but yeah, there you go. So we've got to solder two on one side, one on the other. We could use crimps. I'll be honest, you probably could crimp that up. There is more than enough space in there. But, you know, I'm going to solder it. I've got the iron out, so again, yeah, just got to solder it. And, yeah, no reason why I won't just clip straight back in afterwards. Not a very long time later, we have that, and this can go over there. Oof. Ah. Oh, have we made a boo-boo? The cable is now too short. Hey, that didn't sit. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What are you going to do, folks? You've got to extend the live cable by just a little bit.
After extending both of the buyers, it turns out Shark really do not want you to do this job yourself at all. They will just send you a new hose if you're within your warranty. Yeah, you can extend the switch. Another thing I noticed, look at that neutral cable there. Look, it's being worn through. So the whole mechanism seems doomed to failure. But hopefully we have fixed this one. Yeah, everything's hopefully tucked away. Oh, now this piece of plastic's dropping out and isn't clicking back in. You're going to be fun. So, we'll put the cover back on. Hopefully it's just going to drop in nicely because we haven't disturbed anything else. Come on. Oh, goodness. See, this is always a problem with these cheap plastic vacuum cleaners. They do go together, but you've just got to be so forceful and precise with it. See, that's bounding up on something, but we haven't touched anything here. Oh, that goes that way around, but doesn't actually stick anywhere. Maybe we haven't pushed this in enough. Welcome to a man wrestling with a piece of plastic. Oh, we haven't touched him. He has lifted you up gently. I don't want dropping you back down. There's a lot more violence than I first thought. Oh, something up here, something about this corner. Hang on, let me, let me work out what it is. Spinning you yet another lie, ladies and gentlemen. This is the lens cover for the LED. Take that off, pop the LED through. It just, you need to just push that little connector up at the bottom. Then, I swear at this stupid piece of plastic. Then the whole thing snaps down a lot more convincingly. At the back, you need to make sure it starts to ride over our plastic tab. And I think now it's just a case of pushing until all the plastic snaps together. Which I think is just done without any clicks from the top end. That's good enough. <laughs> Time it's all clicked down. Now, obviously, these are all hanging out. And what you do again, this is the LED. Put the cover on. Or sort of slide it on. Then you can push the whole thing back in. Like so. That obviously still works. I did take off the switch. It just pushes out with two tabs from the back. So again, if this is all gacky, you can give it a clean. And yeah, it will just push back in nicely now. And whoo, we are at the stage where I'm going to clean all this up and we're going to test it out. Got to plug the shark in and we'll plug the hose in and see if we can turn it on. Aha! Oops. It's a good job. This is a bagless machine, isn't it? We haven't actually done... Where are you? Oh, you're in there. Haven't put the back screw in. That was remarkably silly of us. Click. Push. <gasps> there we go. How to change the switch for a Shark and AX950, probably any one of these hoses that has, or even this switch setup, will use the same hose. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all these fans useful, even if you hated everything else. And I, and this Shark actually, will see you soon. Bye bye.